This is Grace Notes. I'm Alan Button, and it's my privilege today to share the microphone with a number of my staff colleagues, all of whom fit the criteria for Grace Notes candidates. I think you'll hear it in their voices and their stories and in their music. This is a special Life 103.1 Father's Day edition of Grace Notes. And we'll start things off with Kelly, our Director of Resource Services and Operations Manager. Kelly, welcome. Hey, Alan. Good to be here. You've identified a song that uh, has got some special meaning for you with respect to Father's Day. Tell us about it. The song I selected for Father's Day is called Let's Get Ready to Rumble. It's off of the Jock Jams album, and it really just reminds me of my dad. Growing up, he coached football, basketball, and baseball, so we kind of grew up in the stands, watching his teams. And when I was thinking about a song for Father's Day, that one just kind of stuck out. That was the first song that played for his basketball team every home game. That's kind of what his team ran out to. And I can just picture him and his guys running out into the gym. Um, so it's just really special to me. Well, I can imagine those, those songs that introduce teams, uh, they become iconic in our minds and hearts. They do, yes. What's your dad's name? Bobby George. Well, let's hear the song for Bobby and Kelly. Let's get ready to rumble from the Jock Jams album. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Lori has joined me in the studio now. Lori is one of our account executives and is involved in things administrative here at the station. Lori, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. Tell us about the song you've selected. The song I chose that reminds me of my dad is the song Unforgettable, the remixed version with Nat King Cole and Natalie Cole singing a duet. What is it about that that makes it special? There's a couple things. The first thing is I love that it's a father-daughter duet. And the second thing that's really special is that's the song my dad and I danced to at my wedding. So it's a very special song. And even though my dad is no longer with us, he's very unforgettable to me and everyone in my family. What was your dad's name? His name is Neil. Okay. Well, let's play this for Lori and Neil. Unforgettable by Nat King Cole and Natalie Cole. Jessica has joined us in the studio now. Jessica is our resource services associate. And Jessica, you've identified a song that we were just discussing as one in our library, but doesn't get regular airtime. Tell us about it. <laughs> it gets no airtime. Got a special occasion here for you to get it on the air. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, this song is it's called Back in the Saddle Again, and I picked it because... People that are regular listeners, they've heard me talk about how my dad and I usually will watch a lot of Westerns and things like that. And so I heard this song and I just thought, oh, that's a fun song. I want people to hear it. So I picked it for Father's Day. Terrific. By Gene Autry, right? Yes. It's old. It's an old song. Timeless. What's your father's name? His name is Curtis. Well, let's hear a timeless Western song. Back in the Saddle Again for Curtis and Jessica by Gene Autry. I'm joined in the studio now by Connie. Connie is our office administrator and traffic manager. Connie, welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. By the way, uh, when we say traffic manager, uh, our listeners maybe need to know that you're not out there uh, directing cars and trucks. Uh, That's right. <laughs> Connie uh, handles the scheduling of our commercials for our advertising clients. Connie, tell us about the song you've selected. I selected a Johnny Cash song because my dad was a big Johnny Cash fan, 
And so I became a big Johnny Cash fan since the time I was four. I remember listening to his albums in our house. To the man in black. Yep. Uh huh. What was your dad's name? Jerry. And is there anything about this particular song that is special? Well, I remember him, uh, he would say this, I walked the line to my mom, just joking. <laughs> and um, a few years ago for my 50th birthday, my whole family had gotten together at a restaurant and my dad had passed a few years before. And um, my five siblings and my mom and our families were together at this restaurant and this restaurant played country music in the background. And it was a, a noisy restaurant, but we all sat down to eat. And just as we sat down, I walked the line, came on over the speakers, booming loud. Oh. And we all just got silent and looked at each other. It's like we knew that was dad saying that he was there. That's a great story. Let's hear the song for Jerry and Connie. I Walk the Line by Johnny Cash. I'm joined now by Christina. Christina is our Director of Administration and She's identified a song that has got special Father's Day meaning to her. Christina, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Tell us about it, the song. So the song I chose for Father's Day is called I'll Be There by Josh Turner. And it's the song that my dad and I danced to together at my wedding um, almost six years ago now. And from the first time I heard that song, I knew it just perfectly described my dad. It talks about, you know, if you fall down and need a hug or if you're going through a heartbreak, I'll be there. And it was perfect to dance to together at my wedding. But then it really rang true for me um, this past winter. My son was born seven weeks early and my husband was in the middle of a deployment but was able to come back for a little while after JJ was born, but he did have to go back overseas. And I remember just calling my dad one day and saying, I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is really difficult. And he said, I'll be there. And he lives in New Hampshire and he came down here and he was there to help me out with a baby. And it was just a really special time for us. And he's always there for me and now he's always there for my son and it's just very meaningful to both of us what's your dad's name mark well let's hear the song for mark and christina i'll be there by josh turner I'm joined now by Mary. Mary wears several different hats here at the station. Among other things, one of our account executives and our senior marketing consultant. Mary, welcome. Thank you. With Father's Day coming up on Sunday, you've got a song you've identified that's special to you. Tell us about it. Yes, my song is Oh Babe, What Would You Say by Hurricane Smith. And it was kind of a one-hit wonder from 72, 73 in the U.S. I fell in love with this whole album and borrowed the album from a friend, would play it and play it and play it. My dad fell in love with it as well. And in fact, later on, I tried to buy an album for him and it was just hard to find it. We didn't have the internet back in those days. So this song is my dad's favorite. It was kind of our shared song. And interestingly, Hurricane Smith had a Beatles connection, didn't he? He did. He was the recording engineer from 62 to 65. And in fact, John Lennon referred to him as Norman Normal. That was his nickname, Norman Normal. What's your dad's name? Ralph Barnard. He passed away a few years ago, five years ago, in fact. But this is his song. Let's hear it for Ralph and Mary. Oh, babe, what would you say by Hurricane Smith?
In the studio with me now is Robin. Robin is our programming manager and community engagement facilitator. Robin, thank you for being here. Well, thanks for having me. You've got a song you've identified for Father's Day. Tell us about it. The song that I picked was Back Home Again by John Denver. And he talks about being back home on the farm and it just how it feels good to be back home. And, you know, my dad's been gone since 2013, but he and my mother created an environment on our farm that it was just always good to be back home. It was such a warm and welcoming and loving environment that regardless of where I was and what the situation was, when I was heading back home, I knew that that was where I wanted to be, back home with my parents my sister Janie, and it was uh, always a special time. Sounds like your home was indeed a special place to be. Uh, they created a loving environment for us, and um, I'll never forget it. Very good. What was your father's name? Bob. Bob. Okay. Well, let's hear the song for Bob and Robin, Back Home Again, by John Denver. There's a storm that hates good to be back home again. You've been listening to Grace Notes, a special program here on Life 103.1 featuring people who may be relatively unknown, but who meet life's challenges in ways that brighten the lives of those around them. Our producer is Christina Dolan. I'm Alan Button, and we invite you to join all of us here at the station again next Friday at 5.30 for Grace Notes on Life 103.1.